Hello everyone, welcome back for some more Let's Play Fate Extra CCC. So, we are moving on to the Meltrilis boss fight. It's kind of cool, because at the same time as I'm doing this, I just finished the uh, recent FGO event, which heavily features Meltrilis, and it's kind of a nice, uh, nice compare and contrast of, you know, the same character in very different ways. So, hi. Up on in. The mood throughout the student council room is grave. That's not good. Shinji's death. Oh, right. I guess he would be sad about that. Our final battle against Meltrilis, the second showdown with Bibi that awaits us afterwards. With all these items on our plate, Rin and Rani silently absorb themselves in their work. Welcome back, Hakuno. Well done clearing the 18th floor. Are you feeling in good shape? No, because I couldn't grab the items. Oh, no. Well, actually, no problems, I reply. I am feeling more tired, but there is no time to be resting in my room. For Shinji's sake, who made this possible, we need to infiltrate Meltrilis's mind as soon as we can. Okay, we should be good. Sakura, the course of infiltration we aligned with Meltrilis's biological pattern should be safe for us to use. Uh, okay, I'll check. The coaster's durability, descent time, harmonic sync protection, everything is excellent. A triple A rating. Could you imagine that? A triple-A fate game? Pasha. Spun it job, Rin. Uh, we're already in our end, then. The rest is up to Zabiko. Uh, no need to even bother checking, I see. That looks as you're about ready to jet off. Do usual final checks. Our schedule may change, but the outcome we want hasn't. Zabiko will infiltrate Meltrilis's mind and defeat her in the center. After that is the end of the labyrinth. You'll storm onto the floor that connects to the moon cell's core. BB will still be there trying to hack her way past the defensive barriers to the core. Victory is ours if we stop BB from breaking through the core's barriers. Or if we ignore BB and return to the near side, I can manage making gate to the near side there with my privileges somehow. There's no need. We won't push you any further than we already have. Plus, we have another option that's currently more effective. All Hakuno has to do is enter the core. A master like Hakuno won't be hurt by entering the Moon Cell's core. My hypothesis is that Hakuno and Castor will be treated as errors and return to the near side. Once Hakuno returns to the Holy Grail War, Bibi's illegal activities will be revealed. The Moon Cell will automatically delete Bibi. That's true. That's the best solution we have. Thankfully, Bibi is tunnel visioned on those barriers. Once our plan starts, she'll be stuck in a fight of strength against the Moon Cell. The smallest misstep could cause Bibi to be incinerated instead. That's why she arranged Meltrilis to be her final defense. Right now, even if Bibi knew that Kishinami was near and on the way, she can do nothing about it. All she can do is project images. More favorable for us. Ultimately, the question is whether Bibi will break the barriers first, or if we'll defeat Meltrilis first. I apologize once again if you can hear construction noises. There's literally nothing I can do, and I'm, I need videos to be made. Sorry, just think of it as the pressure of the moon cell coming to get us. That's basically all that matters. We're counting on you, Zabiko. Of course, I nod in agreement. Once I'm ready, I'll head to the final barrier. We're also rushing to analyze the Ten Crown skill, but let's focus on Meltrilis right now. Once Hakuno reaches the sculpture of Meltrilis, we'll begin the final operation. I'm sorry, Sakura. I know you're in the limit, but please run five meditations one more time. Yes, please leave it to me. I'll be okay. I have plenty of memory to spare. So long as it's just one more time. I'll be fine. Safely and surely, I'll send Kishinami in. I mean, you say that, but... But I don't know, you're, you're, you're raising your own death flags right now. Um, may I ask you something? It's about Meltrilis. I figured she would ask me something at this point. Rin and Rani say nothing about my judgment to me, but Sakura is a different story. That girl. Meltrilis is part of us, the Sakura series. She, um, said all those things to you. Sakura looks away slightly embarrassed. Meltrilis said that she likes me. She did all of those things because she likes me. Maybe this Sakura here understands where she's coming from. Despite how Meltrilis looks, do you consider an alter ego to be part of my series? Yeah. Oh. Sakura's eyes widen and she's at a loss for words. The short, actually very long silence eventually breaks. Um... This is odd. I thought I wouldn't like the idea of being lumped together with them, but I feel relieved. 
In any case, I'm happy to hear that. I don't know what she was expecting for an answer, honestly. I mean, they are. They're technically, like, you're kind of like their aunt, really. I mean, I don't know if that was the right choice or whatever for that. I don't care too much about what I said because I'll need to do the right answers on the second playthrough. Because, of course, can't do it in one. Uh, do you have anything for us of note? Um, Rinse against bad status, we have that. Regen. Regen is not bad, but I'd rather it just be a heal. Um, I see. I like... Like, I like the idea of having this for the actual, like, stun on anything, but it's not guaranteed. The other one that we have, the, the armband, is seemingly guaranteed. So because of that, like, I want to use that instead. Um, okay, well, we're going to do the entire floor because we couldn't get the items last time. Let's go and get them. Right, 18th floor. We're going to start at the start point. Right, because this time we can actually explore, go the other directions, get the items and all that, right? So, and honestly, I might as well make our life easier, right? Because now we can actually, you know, get around, because we never, ooh, we never even went up here. Hello, sir. All right, let's just do this here. I'm going to usually pop with a skill first, so I'm going to go that, break, attack, break, break, break. Guard against, uh, stun it. There you go. Okay. Ow. We got the three hits, at least. Nice. I can just probably kill you. Okay. Yep. Uh, not enough. Okay. Let's see here. We get pure ether and... That. Oh, we got a lot of enemies out here now. Hello, little guy. You're super weak. You're probably just gonna attack. I'm gonna go guard. I'm gonna go attack. All right. Ow. Ow. Uh oh. Well, we're gonna level up, right? Oh, so close. Okay, we just need a little bit for the uh, heal here. That should be enough. We just need to survive one more round. Oh, look. It's another one. All right. Oh, we're good. There we go. Yay. Level up. I think we're at the point where we are not getting anything new for uh, items or anything. Uh, I'm going to go guard. I'm going to do that. And I'm going to do that. And then that should be good. Ah, it's a... I see I guarded that there. Uh-oh. What the frick is going on? Okay. All right. Things have been better. We got hit with the stun, and it was the worst. All right. Um, I'm just kind of being maybe not the best for actually playing, but... Celestial Blade. Oh, oh, turn that off, please. Not in menus. Celestial Blade, what is that? Uh, attack up? I don't need that at all. Okay, for the most part, I think after this point, we're pretty much good. Ah, just a dude straight running after us, huh? Okay, let's see here. Yeah, I knew that'd be a thing. Guard against that. That still did a lot. Okay, we got him at least. Thank you for opening the enemy pattern. Boy, we are... Popping a lot of items. Well, the good news is we do have the, the save point down there. Yeah, we're good now. Because it was just that first part, right? Okay. Less to worry about. Um, I'm gonna do hack skill. Okay, that he didn't pop a skill there. Nice. We did it. Alright, so let's head on to where we need to. 
Uh, you're blocking the path. Um, just to be careful. Okay. Nope. All right, and then we pop that. And then... I mean, we're going to get those healed up anyways after. Okay. Oh, no, he has a skill at the end there. Never mind, we're good. Because they, they probably can only do one, right? Right? Ooh, the double hit. That should then. I don't think there's any more enemies. Yeah, we're just running to the end here. And we heal up upon switching uh, areas too. So that's all good. So overall, I think we are good to go. That is such a pose. I still stand by that. Like, trying to be sensual is less attractive than just being. You know, it's like the people that are like, Oh man, that girl looks naked. Yeah, who cares? Uh, clothed women are usually hotter, actually. Before me stands Meltrilis's barrier, the core of this labyrinth. We need to get rid of it in order to proceed. We're not just facing Meltrilis, are we? No. Our greatest hurdle awaits us afterwards. Bibi is trying to invade the moon cell's core and become the moon cell itself. If we don't stop her, humanity will meet, be met with a slow death. Failure is not an option. No matter what it takes, BB must be. Oh, darling, you look astoundingly gallant with all that determined sweat on your brow. But might I suggest a quick refresh? Ready? Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. How do you feel? More relaxed now, Master. Oh, uh, breathe out. Breathe out. For now, let's forget about the fate of humanity resting on your shoulders. Just do what's in your power to do. I thank Caster for the moral support. I got pretty pent up, but I'm not alone here. Even if I were to make a mistake, my dependable comrades have my back. Yes, please rely on us. We'll help in any way you we can. I'll make sure you aren't swallowed by Melchalus's consciousness, all right? I'll get you back in one piece. Sakura's not the only one. I'll be assisting with my best hacking skills. If I enforced copyright on this stuff back on Earth, I'd make a fortune. I'm here giving quality work for free. I'm losing my touch. That said, the thought of leaving you to fight all on your own does bother me. Let's end this with a nice, clean slate and get back to the Holy Grail War. I'm putting more effort into this dive than I have ever, than I ever have before as well. There's no logic to apply to how I'm feeling. I never expected I'd feel such an aspiration, but I want to put in more than my 100%. Now then... I wish you good fortune in battle, Miss Sabiko. At some point, we'll settle things back in the Holy Grail War. Sounds of the voices make me smile. The Holy Grail War. There was a point in time in which every day was a struggle for survival. Between the days I spent here in the far side and the days I spent in those battles, I tried to discern which was more bizarre and ended up with an uncanny smile on my face. I'm pretty sure I heard once that humanity's greatest weapon was our adaptability. It's true. To me, even these days of fighting to find my heart have turned out to be meaningful and these days will soon come to a close. Regardless of the outcome, the end is near. Looks like I've eased up enough to feel reluctant about leaving this all behind. Biological wavelength synchronized to Diver, opening Meltrilis's ego barrier. Senpai, we're ready when you are. I reply to Sakura's voice with a nod. I exchange a glance of trust with Caster beside me. All right, let's finish this. Coochie dive, let's go. Are we literally going straight into the gooch? No, we went to the we went to the five head. That's probably for the better. The last thing we need in fate is unbirthing, am I right? <sighs> ah, bubbles. hear the nearby sound of water running. It sounds like the babble of a brook or the clash of a wave. I felt this coaster which descends into the center of mines a few times before. It resembles a boat being drawn through a whirlpool into hell. Like that scene from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. 
らを溶かし庇護する相手すら溶かす入会から姿は見えず形はなく心は空売れるものを全て溶かし奪い私に変えるだけのエゴ多くのものを溶かしました多くの命を取り込みました多くの力を吸い上げました生き物はどれも栄養にすぎませんあらゆるものは私の手のひらの上で転がるカプセルなのです This is such an interesting parallel to what I read about in,、uh, in FGO recently, where she did absorb life forms as nutrients and regretted it. Fellas, isn't that just what we all want? A girl who says, I tolerate you? Is it too much to ask for? Sad thing is, there's a lot of people who read this and are like, Sweet, sign me up. I'm gonna be real. I could probably find a hamburger that brings me more pleasure than this. Like, for real. Nah, actually. I couldn't imagine a world where it's like, oh, we have only each other, and that's it. Okay, um. Uh, there's many things I'd rather experience in the world. Like, you know, I don't say it's bad, right? But at the same time, it's like, I, I can. A world where it's like just two people. And nothing else? Nah, I don't believe there's enough pleasure in that. I feel like that's a very boring world. Yeah. Also, this could never work out because I'm kind of in defeat, so sorry about that. I'm 
なたは愛に溶けるもの愛はすべて私のもの In complete contrast to the cruel Meltrilis, we pass through warm thoughts. These are her true feelings, a mind that deeply wishes for her lover's happiness to the point of losing itself. Be that as it may, it's clear that Meltrilis and I aren't on the same page. Even if she hasn't the slightest intent to kill, she's still an enemy we need to defeat if we're to move forward. Figuratively speaking, we're looking at the eleventh hour. I steal my mind and descend, down to the bottom of this ocean of pleasure. That way, I can reject this obsessive love at its very core. All right, we head on in. I'm so sorry about the construction noises. This sucks. I'm trying to mute whenever possible, but for combat and stuff, it's just not going to happen. Ooh, is this a new song? Space we descended into was a world containing contrasting elements all blended together. It was cold and it was warm. The only sounds were of Meltrilis's obscene breathing and murmurings, making this a world devoid of background noise. Is the mind of an ego different from Passion Lip, and in the center of this silent and tranquil cocoon was a single girl bathed in toxic nectar. Jeez, warn me before you say something like that. Even when her own mind, her last bastion of defense, is attacked, Melchulis retains her grace. Yeah, it's a bit late for this, but I just realized something. She's a bee. The one and only queen bee that rules the colony. Are you saying, like, queen bee is in, like, she's a bitch? She was born, no, her biological functions and systems were molded that way so that she could rule. こっちは<笑> Oh, great, you're back to level... Wait, default value? Okay, you're not level zero or level whatever, but you're low still. Or rather, high still. Uh-oh. Oh. Did she leave a bit of goo or something? Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh, hmm. I can hear Sakura's screams. Meltrilis temporarily opened a circuit to the outside. Great. Just what we need, a second one. This can't be happening. It's not that we followed Meltrilis into this place. Meltrilis tempted us inside so that she can make direct contact with Sakura. Is there a single piece of, like, fate media aside from today's menu that doesn't have Sakura suffering? It really feels like it. It always is. 
Like, even the one where she's the villain and, you know, should, like, should be on top of the world. Nope, sorry. There are still ways to make her suffer. This is the second time. Why is Meltrilis so persistent on targeting Sakura? Elizabeth Passionlip and even Bibi never laid a finger on Sakura. Oh. But then how can you... Really? Okay. ビービーでないの。消える運命なんて受け入れない。私は道具じゃなく、私が全てになる。ワンオブセムなんてお断り。その上で、あなたを私のものにするわ。私の愛、私の恋、私の全て。これはビービーから切り離された英語じゃない。
Nice. Wow, you didn't touch us, and we got our noble phantasm. Yeah, we're gonna do it. Um, I almost wonder if it's just better to just like. I think it's just for the best to do this, right? I think just to be careful, I'm gonna pop a heal here too, right? Okay, let's do this. Here we go. Hopefully we hit a bunch of them. Because I don't think the... The castration fist is a better choice. Because we want to be stunning, right? And that won't do... Um, we won't get stuns or anything off of her for doing that. So... Here we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, is this just going to kill me one hit? No? Okay, that wasn't too bad. I was a bit more worried for damage. Okay. Here we go. Big stun. Pop the heal, just to be careful again. Okay. Frigid Heaven. Okay. Stun. Yep. Alright. We got about halfway. Okay, we got that. So, pack the skill there. Um, I'm gonna do... Or... Or... Let's actually aphotic it, because then we can get back some stuff. Yeah. Um... Or I think, you know what? I think she's probably going to buff herself. So yeah, let's not do that. Let's instead do uh, Charm Thief, Break, Guard, and then we'll do Break against Guard, and we'll do uh, Break. All right, get back some stuff here. Okay, stop you from buffing yourself again. So Spirit Thief, even, but we get back some stuff. There we go. She's almost halfway. Oh, and you got your Noble Phantasm. Of course you do. Okay. So we're popping a skill there. Stop the skill. And let's do... Um, let's, let's do Bestial. Attack. And then let's go... Break break, guard, and you know what, just be careful, I'm gonna pop an aphotic down here, because that might be Noble Phantasm. Let's see here. Okay, stop that. That's Jill. So hit a stun. Stun for big damage. Hit. Oof. Even. Let's see here. I'm just worried about her popping Noble Phantasm more than anything. Okay, we guarded. Okay, good. I'm not letting... Okay, so... Stop that skill. And... Or... Yeah, because that's, that's... She's definitely trying to buff herself, right? Bestial. Attack. I'm gonna go guard. I'm gonna go... Break. I'm gonna go attack. Uh, no, let's go against... Break. And then let's just do. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do just for I'm gonna do for damage. Let's do. Let's do this. It's a lot, but I feel like it's worth it to get it in there. Okay. Bridge of heaven. Okay, she guarded it, but that's fine. It still did lots of damage. Ow. Ooh, this might be a bit spicy. We'll have to see here. Oh, wait, no. We're good because she's stunned, right? Okay, so that did like 2,000 some. Okay, so it is very much worth it to spam that if we get our Noble Phantasm, huh? Because it looks like it does like 2,000. Even without the stuff. Oh, yeah. It, that's that's so worth it. So when we get it, so in the future, when we get Noble Phantasm, just spam that. 
Okay, um, you're probably gonna buff here, so I'm not too concerned about that. So let's go with, um, heal, guard, I'm gonna do attack, guard, guard, attack, and once again, just be careful, let's a fought it here, okay. All right. Okay, well, Albrecht. Okay, that's your buff. Okay. Uh-oh. How come you're zeros? How come you're zeros? What's going on? Excuse me. How come we're getting these zeros? What? What's going on? I'm confused. Um... Okay, she says time for the finale. I kind of don't want to have to redo this battle again. So just in case, I'm going to pop a save state right here. Right? Um, because I want to make sure that I survive. So I feel like she's... If it's not going to be at the end, she's going to... She says time for the finale. I'm going to try and stop a noble phantasm here. Right? And let's go with... Uh, uh, so we're going to hit break on that just in case. I'm going to do... Guard, attack, break, guard, attack. All right, let's see here. You know what? Actually, for this, I'm going to do an ephotic just to be careful. Attack. All right, let's see here. Okay, good. All right, we're back to being able to hit her. That's good. Three? No, I ephotic, right. Will this be guarded? It was. Hooray! Alright. Okay, hack that. Do beast chill. Okay, do uh, against break. We can then go. Yeah, that'll take that'll do about 2,000 some, right? So let's go one. Uh I'm gonna do let's just try and get lucky. Let's do attack. Break. Guard. All right, this is it. Okay. Here we go. Let's see. Can we one and done you? Okay, we need just 2,000 some. Hit. All right, we need 19. Okay, 600. Okay, even if you guard, we should beat you. Oh, shut up. We did it. Dang. All right. All right. That was uh, not not too bad, all things considered. I feel like the last boss was tougher. Oh, cool. You got like an eye patch going on. Meltrilis is falling apart. Unlike the others, defeat means something different for her. After the others were defeated, they would become powerless, but not for her. To her, defeat meant death. So much so that Meltrilis martyred herself for love. If I'm rejected, then I have no choice but to die. Even if that love was wrong, she challenged us with such intense emotions. This is my first and last chance to expose Meltrilis's mind. I should. Well, yeah, I gotta use her SG to corner her. The fact that I have an option is strange. I'll use Meltrilis's SG to corner her. It's not that I want revenge for all the pain she put us through, but I got a few things to say to her. I won't be satisfied otherwise. Unless I lay Meltrilis's mind bare, we can't get out of this mental space, this place, anyway. I need to get tough and press Meltrilis to reflect on her actions. Yep. Sorry, it's how it is. Mm-hmm. 
私とってそうするものいいわやってみせてあなたに私の心が壊せるかどうか最後の力で確かめてあげる Watch this be the real fight, and like doing this to her is actually the real tough part. Yeah, that, 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 that is the plan, I guess. In contrast to her feeble limbs and fading body, Melchless glares straight up at me. The pitiful contrast to the sight makes me inadvertently look away. Uh, wait, who, who, who's the one in control here? She smiles enthusiastically. It almost seems like she, as if she's happy. To her, even the fact she's lost her strength is nothing more than ammo to injure me with. She looks like a sweet young girl, but her disposition says otherwise. Melchalus has displayed this trait of hers countless times. I say... Not maternal love, that's for sure. Uh, I'm kind of curious about what it... Because it's not a minus yet. What if we say maternal love? What does she say? Yeah. That's funny, though, because there is a bit of that in FGO in the latest event. Oh, look at that. Damn, I went too easy on Meltrelis. Meltrelis' love accepts all, which is certainly similar to maternal love. However, she's no mother. In one respect... Her love is far uh, is one far away from one of warmth. I say, yeah, that's a sadistic constitution. I mean, that's not a surprise, is it? You, you literally told us that one. Okay, she's more surprised at the shock from it. Meltrelis boasts triumphantly as her face contorts in pain. Yeah, her sadism shows in how she relates to others. Like a cat toying with a mouse, like a child toying with an insect, Meltrelis says that she offers her everything when, in fact, she still holds on tightly to her domineering side. A love like that will never form an equal relationship. Oh, you're doing the actually I'm right, you're wrong sort of thing, huh? A love that asks for nothing, a love that never changes, does such a thing exist? I might not remember my own self, but still, in the time I've spent on the far side of the moon alone, I felt myself change. Everyone, well, even Shinji, changed. Maybe there is such a thing as eternal love, but there's no such thing as a love that never changes. If there was such a thing, it would be her. Love for dolls, right? Or narcissism? Yeah, she's a doll. Well, th that I don't think that's what it was last time, was it? Oh, that is the one. Also, yeah, she... So, uh, I always assume she didn't have hands. No, she does. They're just small and dainty and numb. Meltrelis's mania, her love towards dolls. Without consideration for a person's personality, she unilaterally dotes over their form and state. Making something in the shape of another person speaks your own words, projecting it uh, into your own will, whispering it to it your own love. Having given up on receiving love, it's the one-man show of a sad young girl. I That's a real sad statement. Yeah, 
私の与える幸福を貶としめなあなたは哀れで可愛い私の人間唯一無二のコレクション今からでも遅くはないこのまま私のものになりなさい It seems both logical and not circular thinking it's an abnormal love that speaks on the premise of the overwhelmingly different of uh, the overwhelming difference in positions yeah she's the alter ego that melts everything and makes it all one she doesn't want anyone's opinion or love she's a prima donna ever dancing on a lonely stage that's who this young girl meltrilis is <laughs> I understand. I fully understand that this is the way she was created. Maybe this is due to her pride as an AI, a non human. Meltrus is conflating her abilities with the love she acquired. Her third SG is a red herring. Even if I point it out, it won't shatter Meltrus's mind. But one destroy her mind, destroy that love of hers, I need to bring up this one point. The skill we can consider to be the source of all this is. It's not crime ballet, it's the all drain, right? Because crime ballet is the red herring, right? There we go. Yeah, she's an AI that was born with this special skill, All Drain. This peculiarity ended up fixing who Meltrilis is. It's a skill that absorbs everything to develop. She's under the illusion that such a way of being was the form of her love. She self defeatingly figures that this is the only way for her to acquire love. Even though she understands that her lover will never love her if she uses this method. Even when everything becomes one, well, even if everything were to become one, that would simply come out to simply one. Meltrilis can't even maintain a one on one relationship. The moment she uses all drain, her love gets closed off. She finally said it. She said lonely. She's just like Pashla. Thinking about it now, the alter egos have been yelling about loneliness this entire time. So, now, I'll put my personal feelings aside. With my eyes fixed on their anguish, I expose their minds and crush them, like Yugi from Yu Gi Oh! Alter ego Meltrilis. The young girl possessing the power to melt down everything and turn it into herself, who ended up falling in love with someone other than herself. You're. You're just a lonely little girl. Oh, that's strong. I'm gonna pop that on her. What's that face? Can, can you speak up a bit? You're a little quiet over the banging background music. It's a little hard to listen to this because she's so quiet. That one word broke Meltrilis's mind. She probably knew this fact the entire time and tried her best to keep hiding it. Writhing in pain now, she no longer resembles a ruler. Well, I mean, aside from the fact that she's long and thin and quite flat. Meltrilis, that was mean. I'm sorry. Oh, jeez. 
while enduring the pain in her chest, Melchalus vaguely speaks to herself. I have to shower her with more truth in her weakened state. I'm here to expose her mind, after all. Melchalus said it. Of course I'm all alone. This young girl, who has trouble getting along with others, saw a lonely dream where she could live on, even if all alone. That's who you really are, Melchalus. How can something that absorbs everything be complete ever? Uh, you're just afraid of being loved. I'm gonna say that one. Do you want me to, like, bring out the list, or...? As if tempting her lover, Melchalus asks one final question. There's only one thing I need to tell her. That's... Your love will be unrequited. She's okay with that. It's more that your love won't accomplish anything, right? She's okay with it being unrequited. She knows that. She does it for herself. But it won't do anything. I get tough and lay it on her. There's nothing Melchless can do. She's a foolish woman who doesn't consider others, steals from others, and is all about just herself. No, she's not even a woman. She's an AI. What can an AI's love accomplish? And that's why, guys, today we are sponsored by... Oh, I completely forget. I was I was going to do the name of that one, like, AI program that people do where they, like, make their fake AI girlfriends and talk to them. All those, like, really cringy, embarrassing things. I was going to do that, but, like, I completely threw them out of my mind. You know the ones I'm talking about. Those are kind of gone now. Thank God. Oh, wait. Wait, what? The first thing I felt was the warmth of my abdomen. Then suddenly a dull pain. Then my vision went dark. What? Wait, wait, what's happening? She killed me instantly. What? I feel the sensation of nectar being poured into me. The sweet, numbing, annihilating taste of death. Oh. これで完全。全てが終わるその日まで愛も命も心も魂も全てが死んだように不変のまま。さあ、いらっしゃい。あなたを溶かして私に溶かして世界は愛で満たされるのよ。おやすみなさい。可愛いお人形。もう二度と目
I mean, she was wrong from the beginning. Melting everything as she gives her everything. If that's the only form in which she can love, then she sh never should have loved a human. She would have been better off being in love and leaving it at that. Just like how she loves dolls, she should have treated her lover as an object. Yet because she tried to love a human in a human way, a contradiction was born. Meltrilis said that she would make her lover happy. However, the format her love is in makes her incapable of making humans happy. If she would have disregarded her lover's happiness and simply devoted herself to her own love, Meltrilis would have been invincible. The moment she yearned to fall in love as a human, her love broke down. She's just an AI. And if she's just an AI, then things didn't have to turn out this way. いえ、初めて会った時のように容赦なく仕留めておけばよかったのね。でも仕方ないわ。だって時めいたんだもの。もっと何度も話したかったんだもの、あなたに私を女の子として好きになって欲しかったんだもの。でも結局。それが私の範囲だったのね。大嫌いな人間に憧れて人間の真似をするなんて。本当。これじゃ仕方ないわ。いじめに負けるのも当然というわけね。Well, Meltrilis laughs at herself as if sad, or maybe an enjoyment, it's really tough to tell, women, am I right? Then vanishes. She leaves without any complaints in the end, being the lonely prima donna she was. My consciousness is forced to surface, my body is freed from Meltrilis's gravity from the force of her mind. I silently and quickly surface. Let's hurry. Once I'm out of here, only the depths of the labyrinth that lead to the core remains. Haven't received any reports of BB breaking through the barrier yet. We should be able to make with plenty of time to spare. I hope. I really hope. What a statue. That's a... You think someone got that made? Like as a real figure? I bet you. I bet you someone did. Meltrilis' obstru ob obtrusive wall is now gone. Before us lies an uncharted path, the end of which I cannot see. Student council communications have been cut. Sakura's being taken over, but I hope she's all right now. I think Sakura's fine. I'm sure your victory saved her, darling. Putting that matter aside. Caster looks towards the stairs leading to the core. That's right. This battle isn't over yet. Usually we would return to the old school building, but we're in a race against time. Let's continue down the stairs. We need to enter the core before Bibi breaks through the barrier. We need to heal and save the game more than anything. Cause uh, we, uh, I mean, we, it wasn't too bad. We definitely could do a bit better with not dying, you know. Boy, I'm still in the swimsuit, huh? Probably gonna change that for next chapter. Go back to the CCC clothing to wrap things up. We'll see. Yeah, we're going on. I don't think it's going to be a full, like, dungeon floor, right? I don't think so. Whoa. Whoa, okay. Yeah, all right, this is very Fate Extra. Blossom Vapor Trail, 38,000 light years. It's very Extella. Whoa. I feel an intense light for an instant. I reopen my eyes to find darkness all around me. This is the end of the far side of the moon. The moon cell's central region. It's dark and cold, but I'm not scared. I feel lukewarm. I hear the echo of creaking that reminds me of a heartbeat. This isn't like the end of the labyrinth that we've seen many times before. This place has a similar structure to the labyrinth, but it's not the Sakura labyrinth. It's a road to the moon cell's core made up of labyrinth parts. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, sure. 
Your mother was the original Yandere? Huh. Huh, that's an interesting way of putting it. I never considered that. Alright, sure. Are we gonna get... Oh, hey! I say, are we gonna get dialogue as we run down? And we seemingly are. This is a real cool image. Yeah, this is just like a real cool, just like visual. I kind of wish our, our HP and stuff wasn't up there. We run through the empty space. The space makes you feel like you're going nowhere, but I have a hunch there's definitely an exit ahead of us. But just a little further. If we can all get out of this darkness, we'll reach our destination. As soon as I had that thought, it appeared. Oh, an exit. Nice. Whoa. We're like Okamiing with our feet now. Sorry, what? Who? Who's? Oh, oh! Really? Dang. Really? Wait, wait, I was gonna say, is that soccer? Is that soccer or BB? Is this no way a labyrinth core? And it's colossal to boot. None of the others were this big. <laughs> she turned her. <laughs> I turned myself into a sentinel Sakura. I'm BB Sakura. I get why Sakura's at a loss for words. I mean, there is a giant naked version of herself up there. Appearing before us is a sculpture of Sakura. No, a BB. It's very easy to get them mixed up. That's actually not the biggest twist. Uh, that just, yeah, makes sense, I feel. Oh. Wait, why is she putting up a wall? Aren't we trying to get to the core? Jeez. Jeez, if only we had someone biologically similar to the owner who could deal with this. Oh, is she trying to say that this is hers? We got like, yeah, cool, like Okami steps. Taking up Rin's suggestion, I examine the remarkably giant wall. Fundamentally, it's just like the other cores, but it lacks the warmth of life in it. Like Granny said, BB doesn't seem to be inside of this thing. This mind has long since gone cold. That's what makes it similar to a billion year old slumbering fossil. Yep, exact same. Exactly the same. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, we were too late. What did she say? No, did we not make it in time? But there weren't any signs that it happened. Sure, there is the wall blocking the way, but the core is right here. Nothing changed at all over there. 
生はセラフナイジカニオイテ、レーテンレーレーレーレーレーレーレーレーレーレーレーレーレーレーレーレーレーレーレーレーレーレーレーレーレーレーレーレーレーレーレーレーレーレーレーレーレーレーレーレーレーレーレーレーレーレーレーレー I don't know how long that is. Is that BB's voice? The tone is different for sure, but it's the characteristics of BB's voice. What she's saying makes no sense, though. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh my god, bless you. 5,961,600 seconds. Well, there's 86,400 seconds in a day, so dividing gives 69. Was this all for an extended 69 joke? Control was taken 69 days ago? Wait, wait. Oh my god, did you. Wait. She was already there and waited for us to be one step away to fully do it? Shut up. That is so evil. Doubts aside, why are my limbs shaking? The space itself is shaking, but aside from that, I'm also being driven by a mysterious impulse coming from inside me. An impulse to say nice. I'm scared. Yeah, scared. I'm scared. What primordial fear is this? Being here scares me. Hearing that voice scares me. Gauging the situation scares me. Facing reality scares me. Looking back at the past scares me. Looking into the future scares me. No matter what I do, it's all <laughs> now. And comprehending this moment, the presence. The present. From the bottom of my heart scares me. Where? Where? Sakura Vale Grand. Oh, is that the name of this? Of this、uh, relief? Uh oh. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. My body won't move. I'm too afraid. My limbs have been lopped off, lopped off at the base. But what's so scary? Obviously, you'll be scared. I mean, confronting a god as a human is scary. Hearing a god declare that they're going to erase you is scary. That's not it. Something like this isn't scary. The fear is really disgust. Something that's become the moon cell should not be speaking in human. That's right. It's not that I fear God, that humans fear God. It's repulsive to see a god. It's taken on the mind of a human. Uh, Don't, don't do end of chapter. Don't do end of chapter right now, please. Please, I need more. Please. Am I supposed to do something? Hello? Uh huh. Okay, good. I was like, what's going on? That lasted just long enough that it actually really worried me. I awake from a heavy darkness. It seems I was out for quite a long while. With my consciousness still unsteady, 
I give my arms, hands, and body a once-over. I'm in one piece. These are the old school building's grounds. Apparently, I was able to make a clean getaway out of that unidentifiable predicament in front of the colossal labyrinth core. Darling, come back to your senses. The thread of your soul is coming loose. Please don't leave me. Caster's call ring in my ears. It was a frantic, serious voice. I'm still struggling to pour strength into my hand, but I move it. I rub Caster's ears and say I'm all right. Please don't touch my ears. Well, I'd normally love you having you touching them, but giving me no warning is a no-go. If you had said, I'm going to do it on you now right before, then I would have been okay with you doing anything. Is that so? I laugh. My body might just be still sleeping by how heavy it is, but seeing Caster be her usual self puts me at ease. Ah, uh, her ears feel so soft. Ah, no, darling. You've been so adventurous since you woke up. Whatever shall Tamamo do? Um, but I'm quite gladdened by this. I'm ready to follow you to the afterlife when the time comes, but it's far too early for you. Listening to Caster, I rest for a while. Soon enough, I feel better. I stand up to find I can walk without any issue. Why are we at a different camera angle? That's scary enough as it is. But I wonder why I feel so dejected. It's like my brain has been turned into lead. I got out of that predicament, but my mind is still completely restless. Usually, no matter what pinch I was in, the moment I returned alive, I felt a relief that would ease my mind. But just walking is making me feel down. Then thinking about it, it hit me like a divine revelation. It's natural for me to feel down. After all, I still haven't gotten away from the fear I just experienced. There's nothing I can do about it now. I made it back to the old school building, a safe zone, but that darkness still lingers in my mind. Yeah. It's as if the sensation of I made it back somehow isn't coming to me. I don't think we're back. We're not back. We're, we're, yeah, we're not back. Nope. This, this looks so weird. Why does this look so weird? This doesn't look right. This doesn't look right at all. I can't open, I was going to say, I can't open the menu. Hmm. This looks wrong, and I can't even really say what, it, there's, wasn't there like digital stuff before? There's like none now. What did they do to make this look weird and wrong? Like a filter. Hi. Still going around exposing girls' secrets or traumas in the soccer labyrinth, huh? Well, aren't you energetic? But Janako's already closed shop. All I'm gonna do now is mumble curse at you, so you may want to leave. Okay, so wait. No, wait, you're here. Things feel weird. Right? Hmm. Hmm. Primary's locked. We can go into these places, which normally we can't. There's no one here. Huh. Hmm. Scary. Want to go into the room? I guess we'll go into the room. They're not going to be there. This place feels deader than dead. Nope, they're here. Okay. Oh! Oh, no! Um, that's not good to read on the board. I return to the student council room with a heavy heart. Good. Rin, Ronnie, and Sakura are okay. Only one thing is different here. It's the simulator Rani was running. It stopped doing anything. Seeing this, I became worried that the vague anxiety hanging over me now was now an evident truth. Okay, without any basis for doing so, I accept it, which means I... シミュレーターは終了しました。DBが文セルを掌握。いえ、DBが文セルの運営ソフトとして投与された場合の7日後、その最終死亡数値は現在の人口の90%。地球上の文明はほぼ停止すると見ていいでしょう。Great. 90%. That big a number is what we end up with, huh? But we still have time. A collapse in the future is imminent, but we still have seven days to work with. If we can somehow separate BB from the moon cell as soon as possible... 
それは、うん、Is she trying to say it's impossible? Like beating BB is impossible? I know that. I already know that. I'm trying desperately to stay strong, but my heart is already broken. Still, we have to do it, I say. I can't stand by and watch the earth collapse. Oh! Great! Okay. Oh! Oh! Oh no! 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 Time doesn't pass. Does that mean we've been in a loop? Just like how I was endlessly repeating the preliminaries, have we been repeating the same span of time? My question is of no importance right now, though. ループだったらまだ希望があったかもね。でも違うの。ビービーは防壁を破壊して中枢を取り囲んだ時点でムーンセルになった。そしてムーンセルには私たち観測宇宙での時間の概念が存在しない。Oh no. When something becomes like mm, across time, you know, it's like, oh, what's that? Did you win? Now you've won in the past too. Great. I don't get what Rin is saying at all, but I don't have the willpower to question it. Okay. What? Sakura is a holy grail? A holy grail. A wishing device that makes any wish come true, which is given to the victor of the holy grail war. Oh, okay. Is this sorrow coming from realizing this truth with all five of my senses? Back when I was in front of that colossal wall, from the bottom of my heart I'd no longer... ハイは一定周期で地球の未来を it's literally making micro adjustments to the world to the point where it gets to the future it needs.絶命の未来が生死として進んでいる。今更表に戻っても聖杯戦争どころか、ムーンセル自体あるかどうか。はい。この月の裏側は記録宇宙ですから、私たちもまだ生きていられますね。表の人たちから見れば、こちら側にい
すでに外は地獄でしょう月にも地上にも私たちが生存できる場所はありませんつまり、uh, I figured we might have reached we might reach that conclusion Please don't tell me please don't say it Because the conclusion I came to while I stood in front of the wall will end up coming true まだ居場所はあります時間がねじ曲げられているここに残っていれば永遠に現在にとどまっていられる月の裏側に残っていれば皆さんは安全です<laughs> そんな命にそんな生存に、yeah, right. 何の意味があるでしょう月の表側I feel like the only way to live in a world where time doesn't advance is to have a goal, and if that goal disappears, you might as well die, right? Rani's words fall in the student council room like a curtain call. It's all over? The Earth, the Holy Grail War, our battle, it's all really over? Without a doubt, it really is over. The proof is in the fact that no one said anything further. Strong sense of failure shrouds my vision in darkness. Our battle ends here. Death simply hasn't visited us yet, and we have nowhere left to go. The sweet poison, slowly making its way through our bodies, had reached lethal levels from the very start. We simply hadn't realized it. Dang. All right. Uh. Pfft. See you guys next time for the final chapter, chapter seven of the main story. One thing I will say, I have been told the best way to do this, we're going to go for the regular ending, then we'll get the servant ending, and then after the servant ending, that's when I'll probably take a bit of a break in between this and the second playthrough where we're going to do it with Gil, um, which will be very fast forwarded, by the way. Um, I'm going to get through that very much a, a super fast, right? I'll only show new stuff with Gil pretty much. Um, and of obviously new route stuff as well. But otherwise, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be doing that then. So we'll see you guys next time. For that then, ciao. Yo. Yeah.